Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to compute total income under the topic scope of total income under the subject direct tax. Now, this is one of the most simplest topic for all the students. This particular topic usually comes for 7 to 8 mark, which you can easily score. Now, before starting the sum, we'll first note down all the rules and thereafter we'll see how to solve the sum based on scope of total income. Okay, following are the few rules that you need to keep in mind before solving scope of total income. Uh, under scope of total income, we have to segregate the amount and we have to say it is taxable for whom? A resident and ordinary resident, resident but not an ordinary or non-resident. So the rule states that number one, if any income is earned, received or arise from India, that's the main thing. If it is uh, your income is arising from India, everyone will pay tax for it okay so you can see the tick marks everyone has to pay tax if income is earned outside india but it has been controlled managed and set up those are the three important terms that has to be kept in mind control manage and set up in india the first two guys has to pay with the tax and if it's a it's a foreign income then everyone needs uh, sorry the first person needs to pay the tax that's only the resident and an ordinary resident so three rules if it's arising in india everyone pays control from india first two people foreign income first person and now that there's a new rule that dividend from Indian company, if it is given and if it is received in India, it will be chargeable to all heads. Prior to this, it was exempted, but now it is completely chargeable. Two exemptions which has to be kept in mind. Agricultural income from India, no one pays tax. And past profit, uh, past untaxed profit, which is brought forward, again, no one pays tax. So income in India, everyone pays. Control from India, first two people pays. Foreign income, the first person pays. Okay, agriculture from India, no one pays and pass on tax profit again, no one pays. That's it. These are the only rules that needs to be kept in mind. Now, let us see how to solve the sum based on the following rules. Okay, now see the question which is given is like Mr. John, a British citizen had the following income during the year 31st March to 2022 and compute his total income if he is an ordinary resident, not an ordinary and non-resident and then they have given you the list of all the income. Now this is the question or similar kind of question will be there in your paper. Now see how you need to solve this, okay. You will note down particulars where you note, have to note down all the income particulars noted on as it is. Then you have to make three columns, resident and ordinary resident, resident but not an ordinary and non-resident. That's it. This is the format of the sum. Okay, you need to note down all the particulars. Okay, and three columns. And now we just have to go through our rules. If it's an Indian income, everyone pays. Control from India, first two people. Foreign income, first. Agricultural income in India, no one pays tax. Pass on tax profit, no one pays tax. Okay, so based on that rule, let us see. First, income from house property in India. Now, since it's in India, everyone will pay tax. Amount is 15,000. So 15,000 will appear in all the three columns. That simple it is. Next, income from property in Rome. Rome is a foreign country. Since it is foreign, only the first person will have to pay tax. Past profit brought to India. Again, past profit, no one pays tax for it. Income from Bangladesh or business in Bangladesh from being controlled from India. Again, it's controlled from India. The first two people will need to pay tax. Interest on bank account in USA. Again, USA foreign income. So only the first person pays tax for it. Salary earned and received in Tokyo. Again, foreign income. Only the first person pays the tax for it. Okay, the next is income earned and received in London. Again, it's a foreign income. Only the first person will have to pay tax. Last, dividend from British company. It, uh, dividend is from a British company, but it is received in India. Since it is in India, everyone pays tax for it. That's it. Okay. And after that, okay, after solving all that, you just need to total it up. So total will be somewhere around 93,047 and 32. With that, this sum gets done. You can easily get 7 to 8 marks. Okay. The question will be there with 7 to 8 marks. Very simple. Now with that particular rule, you can apply it into any sum. Okay. You can pick out any sum from your textbook. And the rule which I have given you all, you all can see that and apply it to any sum and you will be able to solve any kind of sum from that particular textbook. So with that, we will be ending that video here. I hope everyone has understood. With that, we will end this particular video. Thank you.